and welcome back everybody, this is Brother Mutant here. Today we're going to continue our journey to complete the Wizard's Apprentice, Chapter 2, The Talisman and the Eye. Now if you recall in our last episode, we got into the library and we've uncovered a portal. Uh, I have been back since then and that was only so I could do this. I'll show you what I've done here, pause the game. Um, well, I've called the shopkeeper, uh, sold off some stuff just to make some room. Uh, you see I'm a little bit lighter, not a ton. Um, still don't have any spells that I needed to purchase that I could see anyway. Bunch of stuff that I have, of course, still to either sell or use. Stuff that I don't even particularly care about. And for instance, the rags and the broken items. I'm thinking I might just chuck these on the ground just because they're taking up space. You know, I don't see a use for these things, but just in case. I mean, I don't know where this thing's taking me. For all I know, they could be the key to opening up something. Um... We have the characters here have been equipped with the best gear I could find for them. You know, nothing truly stellar, but uh, we've uh, shuffled around some different types of plate mail. Uh, this one in particular, because even though he's not getting the best dexterity bonus out of it, he was getting a better armor class up front. So we swapped out between him and what she had. Uh, so she now has the banded mail. And again, the reason for it was because even though it also only gives a maximum dex plus one, um, she only had a plus one to give, so that was fine. Brought her armor class down a little bit, brought his uh, up a little bit, and it's actually down now because we've actually swapped out... Uh, boy, I can't remember now. Something. There's a ring. Uh, he has this one that I purchased for him, the Ring of Spell battle so he can actually use the spell magic once per day. I don't know if that'll be necessary. I tried to make sure that everybody got equipped with stuff that I thought they might need. Um, she has the Ring of Fortitude. There's really anything better to give her. I actually did swap out um, Ring of Protection to her to see if it would do it, but for some reason it's saying that she already has a deflection buff on her. Now I don't know where the hell that's coming from because she didn't have any spells activated on her. As you can see, and there's nothing here that I know of. Oh, don't, there it is. Just wasn't even paying attention. Okay, good. So, she has deflection in the cloak. Uh, and I'd rather her have that because it does give her a lot of save bumps. Um, he, of course, is still rocking the ring of protection. His ring of fortification, the deflection is useless, but the universal saves is not. So, I'm happy with that choice. Sold off one of those uh, pelt, uh, cold resistant cloaks that we got from those two wolves way back when. Other than that, I've pulled out his oh, pet. Uh, and I need to remember, of course, that she has her conjurer's pendant in case we get into a big gnarly kerfuffle in yes. this next room. But because of that, I do want to make sure that I buff up before walking inside. So I'm going to do that off camera. I'll be right back, folks. All right, folks, we're back just to show you the armor class bumps that I have. I'm up to 33 now for him. Gave him an aura as well as uh, you know, mage armor as well as activating his gift of the treat. So he has bark skin on him, which I don't know if that even bumped him at all. Um, he does have the Amulet of the Moon, by the way. And you'll see that I have that equipped. So his dexterity is like retardedly high right now. Um, so much so that even he's not getting all of it because his armor only allows six bonus. So we're actually losing a point, but that's fine. I, I wanted it um, for the Moon Bolt, quite frankly. Three uses per day. Very big ticket item. He does have dark vision supposedly, but I think that's a glitch where it's not actually working as intended in the game. Oh, I have these things here all this time. There we go. Um, but I did it on purpose. I wanted him to have something that he could activate besides his uh, ghost rod. His eye of the dark seeker, of course, is still there in case we need it. Uh, but by and large, we're relying on him to have Moonbolt. And for those of you that don't know what Moonbolt does, it's, it's like a souped up version that Druids get of Ray of Enfeeblement, so minus strength to the target that's hit, and it's a ridiculous hit at that. So, I like that idea. Uh, so he's rocking at 33, she's at 35 now, uh, and she hasn't cast all those spells that she could possibly cast, but she has cast the self-aid uh, spell to bump up her uh, attack chance as well as give her a little uh, imaginary hit points. Uh, she hasn't rested, so she didn't have all her spells to activate, and that's fine. She still has plenty, so I'm still good with that. Did pass off some potions way back when. 
as well as some healing potions. So she can get spells back as well as get a, an instant full heal up if she needs it. Yes. yes. Same with him. He's rocking that. He doesn't need the instant spells back move. I can always pass off a potion if I need to in combat. That's no big deal. But uh, he does not have a necklace as you see. Uh, and that's because he already has protection for deflection. So uh, the only thing I could think of giving him. Matter of fact, I'm going to go do that right now. Yes. I could probably do this. Right? There we go. I'll go with that. I'd rather him have the ability to do that. I keep forgetting that he has this book of nat uh, Nature of Illusion that gives him a uh, mirror image cast on himself once a day. You know, that's something that we should consider. But you notice he's rocking now a 34 for uh, armor class. That's pretty nice. Uh, and of course, I'm a whopping 37 because I'm all important, as we all know. And, uh, you know, I have his original natural armor plus three amulet one that he had. That's why he had the open slot. So that's probably why. But I'm cool with that. I'd rather have me be ridiculously high because I have the lowest hit points of anybody on the team. So with that, though, I think we're ready to enter the void. Let's do this. Come on, people. Come on. Here, folks, we broke our game. There we go. All right, before you shimmer, the telltale extra dimensional wavering of an arcane portal. Suspended before the portal are four keyholes one is of stone, one of iron, one of silver, and one is a large and ornate. Insert the keys from the four tests into the respective keyholes. Boom. The four keyholes shimmer and are replaced by a single keyhole. Of it are strange glyphs which you can somehow read. They say, the one who possesses the trust of the child possesses the key to this door. I know where that is. Alright, so we lost those four keys, but we still have a key from the kid. Uh, fairly ordinary seeming key. When the time comes to use this key, you must activate the item where you want to use it. This is different from the most keys, which are used automatically. So this is to ensure that you basically talk to the child, I'm guessing. Boom, just like that, we're cool places. Okay, something is up though, and I'm not really sure. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. We have a statue of Frost Giant Lore Master. Let's go back to our journal and check that out. Lore Master, what did you have to say to us? Do -do 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 -do. You have found the Lord Master's tome, and in return he told you of the Eye of Caval and how the Frost Giants of old guarded it against use by the unworthy. He also gave you this warning, telling you to remember it if you find yourself in possession of the Eye of Caval. The fool seeks only riches or power, and in that pursuit he shall find his destruction in the final hour. So riches or power is a bad thing, huh? Okay. The statue of the Lord Master looks at you critically, as if evaluating if you are worthy to wield the Eye of Caval. So there's the eye. Oops. Looks like we're saving. Let me go back. Stone of recall chests. Large treasure chests. Let's see. We can unlock either of these things. Specific keys required to open that object. But this one over here. Probably shouldn't try to because it's the large treasure chest when we just got the hint that money is apparently the way not to go but a specific key is required to open that chest as well alright so let's do this we're grabbing the icon ball as soon as you pick up the icon ball you feel powerful energy wash over you you suddenly become more aware of your surroundings your attention is drawn to the two chests in the room with the eye of Kaval. you are somehow aware that they are both unlocked and can now be opened the contents of the larger of the two visions of gold gems and powerful magical artifacts pass before your mind's eye this one. Uh, he told us that those were bad. Actually, see the second smaller one open. This within is a stone of recall that will send you back to the great library. You are made aware that once you choose the smaller chest, you will not be able to return to this chamber. You also sense the statue of the Lord Master looking at you, his gaze boring into you as if watching to see what you will do, watching to see what you will choose. Alright, so obviously we don't want to choose that one. That's the way to go. Let's do a quick save. Alright, we're back. And I know we should, but I want to go see what's in the treasure chest. Oh. 
Oh, my good lord, look at all that money we can go. Oh, that's just mean, man. So we're not allowed to take any of this, I'm guessing. And unidentified, unidentified, unidentified. And you know those are pimp. You suck. You know, a star sapphire and a king's tear. I ain't got either of those. All right, screw you. We're not taking them. Oh, shouldn't have even looked at it. All right, so this will take us back home. As you pick up the stone recall, there's a bright flash. And all disappears suddenly is replaced with another orb. The new orb pulses with arcane energy far beyond that of the one that just disappeared. And you realize that this is the true Eye of Caval. Oh my. It becomes clear that the two chests were simply the final test of the eye. Oh, oh, oh. You're now the wielder of the true Eye of Caval. Oh, we got a journal thingy too. Return to the Great Library. Alright. As you reappear in the Great Library, you sense the Eye of Caval come to life. Boom, boom. The orb shows you the entrance to the library. Wait, who the hell are these guys? Four figures are there and you recognize them. Well, I don't recognize these guys. Do I? I heard your suspicions. They are the four remaining eyes of the Dark Seeker. The Dark Seeker. Wait, be silent. But you can see who crouches and whispers. What is it? You have to laugh at the law of Eyes of the Dark Seeker are here. How can you know this for sure? Dude, I'm a freaking wizard, man. You think you would just trust me by now? That Cabal has shown me. Humble to himself, later muses. I would know how they arrived here. As if in response, the eye shows you a scene of the forest standing in the wilderness and activating stones. There is a flash. And they appear in the Great Library. You realize they use enchanted gems of teleportation. Ooh, I want those. One of the four takes a wand out of his pouch and points it at the door. What? There's a magical discharge and the door fuses, trapping you inside. Alright, so he's a wizard. Or, uh, use magic devicer at the very least. The four begin to move throughout the library, searching for something, and you know they are searching for you. Alright, pause that shit. Oh, looks like fight time, folks. Um... I have Cabal. What do you got? You didn't do anything? No. You suck. Apparently. Apparently we have a fight on our hands. Okay, so... They're charging us. Boy, it'd be nice to get the drop on them. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Before we get crazy here, we did have, where is that note? We had somebody way back when, that told us about all the people. Remember he, where did I, where did I put that? Ah, oh, here we go, small notebook. How Aldrich powerful attacks with great sword but heavy armor makes him clumsy, vulnerable to dexterity based attacks. So basically reflex saves. Or heavy armor will be vulnerable to attacks with dexterity, same kind of guy. Very tough, quick and strong, but amazing physical toughness. Clever possesses weakness of will. Okay, mine stuff on him. Elden Hesberon, half elf. Mm, very strong elf is mean and stuff. One of these guys I think we already took out, right? Okay. Actually, we took out probably a couple of those guys already. Alright, so one of them's a thief. That's the one that wrote the notebook. That's probably the little guy that zapped the door. We had an elf in there for sure. And two big strong dudes, which are probably dexterity slash will spells for stuff like that. Uh what can we do? Mm -hmm. well, we're doing pretty good, I mean don't get me wrong, it's not like we need a whole lot of buffing. Put 
portion of speeds could come in handy. Definitely want him to have one of those. Yeah. She needs to pull out her pets. Alright, everybody drink your potion of speed. Yes. Oh, yeah, I have one. Nice. Shall we go slaughter these guys? Uh, where the hell is the entrance here? Oh, we're in fight mode. Duh. Looks like we've already locked onto a target. For spells here on hell. He is a tough nut. All right, I am going to assume I need to buff up. You need to get your buttocks over here, bro. Uh, let's get a little ghostly. What you call it on you as well. Bless. You need to get your butt over here, bro. Alright. Come on, zip him. him up, will you? Mm. He could use a little of that. They just banished my guy? I think they just did. They banished my little freaking pet, you D bag. I know he's there, he's just invisible or something. Yeah, what the hell? Uh oh, I know what I want to do. Oh boy, someone's turned himself into a what you call it. Well, how do you like that there? Tell me how you like me now. Alright, uh Trapped over here. There we go. Alright. So like Albridge and Fent. Well, we didn't even see that guy come in. Is that everybody? Alright. Well, we took out three of them. That was amazing. That was a good team. Okay. Easy enough. You aren't going that way at all. Genius. Get your ass over here. Uh, 
All right, you guys are really starting to piss me off with your stupidity here. Stop being stupid. All right, we got this guy to whale on here. Um, I think it's time for a little battle tide. He is punk. We're gonna zap him. He's a barbarian, apparently. Woofda. Oh, someone's getting whaled upon. Birdie's taking it on the chin here. Okay, uh... Hmm. A couple flame arrows to his face. Not a bad call. Nothing there. What else do you got that you could use? Oh, hey, yeah. Uh, get some illusion up on you, bro. Oh, yeah, we're tearing these guys apart. Wow, this team is awesome. We rule all. After the epic battle, you take several hours and then now deserted library to heal yourself and recover. What? I was first to break the sign. So how do we get out of this place? It's a difficult climb down the side of the waterfall, but we may be able to make it back up with some luck. We can't go that way. The door's sealed. The fans look at you in surprise. Brother speaks the Eye of Cabal. It showed you this? Yes, it did. You proceed to explain the vision of the Eye of Cabal gave you before the battle with the remaining eyes of the Dark Seeker and with the sealing of the library door. Kirk sets his jaw grimly, then we shall die here and join the dust that blankets these ancient halls. Uh, spending my last days with you is not so grim a proposition. Blairdrick smiles warmly at you and puts his hand over yours. Indeed, there are worse fates by far. Oh, look at my romance going up. He's now interested. 1525. Suddenly you remember your vision before the battle, the vision of the four eyes of the Dark Seeker teleporting from outside the deep frost of the Great Library. Yeah, I thought so. You realize if they sealed the door, they must have had a plan to escape. Perhaps a device to teleport them back to the surface. Hope begins to rise within you once more. Wait, don't give up yet. I have an idea. What is it? You'll see. Just wait. Alright, let's pilfer some bodies. Boom. Some teleportation. Skull Cleaver. Scroll. Summon Critter. Summon Critter 9. Wow, I can't believe we didn't use that. Scimitar Pestilence. Scimitar Speed. Oh, that sounds pimp. Some Bracers. Oh, yeah. Shadow Thief Leather Armor. Cotton's cool. Improved Short Sword of Quickness. Gems and Arrows. And Magic Armor of the Dark Maw. Ooh, what a dead I'm overloaded. Alright. So let's see here. So I have examine. This is a gem to where you find on the corpse of her Yep, yep. Skull cleaver. Extra slashing damage. Plus three enchanted uh, halberd. I will pass it off. I probably won't use it. It's my identified armor. I got a potion of lore, yeah. Still not enough. Well, that's not cool. Well, we'll check that here in a minute. Um, summon Creator. Put that away, because I know I can't scribe that to level 9. Oh, Scimitar Pestilence. I want to see Death Aid The blade of this Scimitar constantly oozes an only green substance. Anyone or anything struck by the weapon has a chance of being poisoned and or contracting a disease. Oh, jeez Louise, man. On hit, BC of 20 for red 8, so lower your strength, even unless you resist it. On hit poison, DC 20, lower your constitution, and a hit, well, that just cripples stuff, man. And it's a plus three cold iron weapon, oh, hell yeah, we're passing that off to somebody. Hmm. Scimitar speed, haste, one use per D. Not the best weapon ever, but hey, beggars and all that, right? That's a 
useless arrows. I don't understand why they would give us arrows. Improved short sword of quickness. Haste five uses per day. Now we're talking. Plus three, and it does electrical damage. Oh, we're definitely passing that off. Uh, dang, plus two, sure, like that. Bracers of dexterity are probably someone to sell. Oh, this is the Shadow Thief leather. What do these things do? Two, six, oh, hey, we might pass them on to him. Fear, one use per day. He gets a bluff and intimidate bonus. Oh, can only use it by Shadow Thief. Um, pitifulnessly itself. It's made of iron. How is that a leather armor? Whatever. We'll sell that. Hoofda. Alexander, do I have those yet? Yeah. Oh, you can't stack them beyond 10 for those things. That's a little weird. Full plate plus 2. I got better armor than that, though. Let's sell it. Ooh, the Dark Maw. What does this thing do? Acid damage, great sword, acid immunity of 25%, meaning you take basically a quarter of the damage. Or, you take only three quarters of the damage, there you go. Plus two, so it's enchanted. I can't even use it, so I'm gonna put those away. And I did have a rod or something here, don't I? Identify that magic armor for me, kid. Felt. Crawled Undoing, the great northerner, wanderer, spent years searching for a powerful, magical creatures from which to make a heavily enchanted set of hide and armor. He eventually succeeded and was subsequently killed in his sleep by a common cut purse for the armor. <laughs> That's what you get. Oh my, look at that though. All three of your physical attributes, plus four, plus four armor, and it's medium armor. Hmm, that sexy. Can she use that one? Okay, folks, we are back. I just had to shuffle some stuff around. Sorry about the delay there. Well, you won't notice the delay because I probably edited that out. Um, I have better things, of course, that I could be using. Of course, remember our lesser bracers of flight, better dexterity, and of course, the ability to fly, which just means moving faster. Um, I haven't even tested that on things like uh, Entangle patches and grease patches. It's entirely possible flying means I won't be touching the ground. I hadn't even thought of that. Um, but I found the Gemma teleportation. We had some better gear, so we slotted that okay. around a little bit and so walk you through it. He's using this now. Better physical stats across the board. All three of them. So anything that bumps up physical stats is kind of useless for him now, unless it's above plus four. So, like the gloves here. A plus three is not useful, but everything else is, so and that's cool. This one here, the dexterity is useless because he's getting a plus four from that armor, so I could probably swap that out. Uh, still the same issue though with, um, if I take that away from him then he doesn't have deflection. I can't really swap it out for my character because then I lose my giant strength, yes. which is a shame. Uh, he's got these haste boots here, he's got a haste... Uh, sword down there, scimitar I should say. Uh, so he's got all kinds of good gravy and we have the pestilence blade hooked up here if we needed to. Scimitar speed if we needed to. She didn't get much. I'm trying to remember what I did give her. Oh she got the better armor and anti full plates and now we're back up to 32 and I put the banded adamantine away. Uh, so that's good. And she got like the dagger. I had to pass it to somebody. Uh, he, it, whatever, has, as you can see, all kinds of stats that are just through the roof. We have fortification, still, giant treant. Um, I try to pass him the armor. He can't use the medium armor, only light. So he couldn't get the plus four for all physical stats, which was a shame because I kind of wanted it to be him. That's fine. Um, he's still rocking this good armor here. Uh... And the other armor we cut off them could only be used by the Shadow Thieves of Am, so we couldn't get him to even wear it, so there was no point. And he still gets the Gift of the Treant on this, so I'd kind of rather him have it. Uh, he did get those blades, though, and you see that I have the Delver's Curse and the Adamantine Short Sword on this one for the second weapon. So we have the either ability to curse people on a hit or uh, just straight up Adamantine weapon damage. Uh, to penetrate some stuff, of course, obviously. Uh, does magical damage as well. 
but this one here was swapping these two around in, in reverse positions. This one still does electrical, this one still does acid. Uh, the reason for switching it was this way I can actually activate the haste five times a day on myself, making this character all kinds of badass. With that, we have everything we need, and I think it's time to teleport. Boopda. With that, we destroyed those guys. That was a nice battle. I wonder why the one dude was away from his other three partners. It seemed odd. It worked. We made it. Oh, time is short, and you must return to the Elk Dancer tribe to aid in the battle against the Dark Seeker. Whatever. Yes. You know you love me. Give me some light. All right. Yes. Yeah, him, me. Where are we? Uh, okay. Oh yeah, we're down here. Um. I feel like we're forgetting something. Did we get everything already? Is it better? Let's just do a quick scope of the area. I feel like we've missed something, so let's just do it once over before we go back to the village. And if nothing happens, of course, I'll cut all this stuff out, folks. Alright, folks, we are back. I'm going to edit all that out. However, we are probably going to call it a day. Uh, we are back at the Elk Dancer Tribe, as you can see here, uh, but I think that we've had enough fun for one day. So, my name is Brother Me. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.